how to make the bass more clean, meaning the bass to be heard clearly, including with the other elements in the mix? Well, first thing that you should always uh, do with any kind of uh, low-end information, let's start with the basics. Uh, basically, low-end uh, bass frequency spectrum takes uh, the biggest portion of the whole dynamic space available. So. Uh, when you are dealing with uh, bass heavy uh, sounds, you have to have them under control and they have to consume only the amount of energy uh, that it's basically just needed for them. Meaning that uh, uh, in my way of working, I extensively use high pass uh, and low pass filters and this is one of the things that needs to be done first. So with bass sounds, uh, you have to cut everything below a specific frequency and this frequency is usually directly related to the key of the song meaning that if the song is in the C there is a big chance uh, you will not need the notes below the lowest C that you are using in your uh, arrangement so how do you do that? Uh, the easiest way is to use a resonant uh, high pass filter which will give you an option to do a slight boost uh, at a specific frequency. So I can uh, try and open uh, a plugin that uh, will uh, later that will show an example how to basically cut uh, the most uh, uh, important frequencies from sounds. Meaning that uh, if you have a bass sound, definitely cut with the low cut or high pass filter and the slope of the filter can be really steep or, or can be a little bit more gentle depending on the application. So this is one of the most important things. Another thing is that usually uh, the kick drum uh, is, or a better said, I encounter problems when I get tracks for mixing or for mastering that many times uh, kick drums are not tuned properly. Meaning that the tune, the pitch of the kick is not in the key of the song. And this is usually a big problem because uh, if the bass drum is not in tune, there is a like it's almost a better, it's very difficult. The possibility that it will work with the bass line is very very small. So uh, it's really important that uh, you load your kick drums into some kind of a sampler. I use battery or machine, but you can use whatever, uh, or you can use a software synth or an analog synth, whatever and tune the kick uh, to the pitch of the song. That doesn't have to be the root key of the song, but any kind of uh, uh, pitch that is in the scale of the song. It is also possible that the kick, which is out of scale, will sound perfect, but in majority of cases, I dare to say, kick has to be in tune uh, with the bass. That's also valid for snares, for hi-hats, for percussions. Uh, lots, a lot of producers forget uh, that uh, drums also have pitch and uh, if we go to let's say live drum situation live drummers will always tune their drums before the actual recording or be before the actual gig uh, and uh, in electronic music, music people tend to forget that meaning that uh, they don't tune the drums that's one of the techniques and then is there is like many many others uh, that can be used um, in, uh, in uh, this kind of situation, we can have all sorts of uh, sidechain combinations, uh, dynamic high pass filtering, which I will show later, and so on. But uh, to start uh, the screen, uh, you can see I opened uh, a D DMG Equilibrium, uh, which is uh, my favorite uh, equalizer plugin uh, because I can do any kind of uh, environment, I can open as many bands as I like, I can open as many different types of filters, ADC, ETC. So with the bass line I would start something like this, that for start if I play it back and if I turn on the analyzer, I, otherwise I don't use analyzer when I'm mixing, very rarely, but this is for a presentation I will just turn it on. So you can see that this bass has a lot, a lot of information below 40 hertz, but in reality, all this info, it's not necessarily needed for the specific track because it is in a specific key. So 
what I will do, I will engage a high pass filter uh, and to help me with uh, processing, I will boost the resonance so I can more clearly hear the fundamental note of the bass or better said which one is the lowest in the key and I will listen in this situation I can't be so precise because we don't have the time but I will try to find the fundamental note and then when I will find it I will reduce the resonance back to its normal or leave it a little bit on so maybe I will change the slope of the filter and made it a little bit gentler so I will anyway keep a little bit of those sub sub informations but in majority of cases I will use at least 12 dB per octave or up to 24 dB per octave high pass filters so this is first thing I would definitely do on every bass sound uh, to control its energy and the same process would be repeated uh, on a kick drum so uh, that's basically it I mean we will cover those topics more and more because there are many techniques uh, directly related uh, to the uh, processing of low end because personally I think that uh, if you get the low end right it's relatively easy to fix the mid-range